So should you script your videos? Now, the first thing you want to look at is what are you actually filming? If it's real life stuff, let's like say if you do markets and stuff, or outdoor stuff, pre-plan it, give yourself enough time to do it, um, get a storyboard together. So if you're going to go to, say, a cathedral, you're going to take a video footage at the front, going through the entrance, talking outside, um, talking to a couple of people at the building, maybe there's some market vendors or someone outside, is there some festival going on, something storyboarding can make things a bit easier before you go even if you don't know what you're going to be filming <laughs> it may sound a bit bizarre but you can actually sit there with a storyboard and go right this is what i'm planning to do so even if you get there and there is no market vendors it doesn't matter the rest of it will fit in you know this is the the front i want to take the spire i want to do this xyz so planning is important if you're doing videos like this, where you're sat in one room, do you need a script? I would say it depends on the person. Myself, I just do these on the fly. Um, it may be obvious or it may not, but I literally just will take a one-liner and I'll spin the whole video off it. You know, for example, this one was basically about the actual producing the content. How do you get to producing content? Uh, what I find is if it's a subject I enjoy, I have a lot of information on it because I know a lot about it. If it's something I don't know much about, I will create a bullet point list of things to jog um, my conversation. You know, I'll, I'll go, okay, um, let's talk about the cathedral. When was it built? I would have that actually listed on a bullet point because I wouldn't actually know when it was built. But... I could look straight in front of me because my screen's here and it could actually tell me it was built in 1864. The same as you could go, okay, uh, what block work was used, what, you know, whatever it is, you can create a bullet point. You need to work out what's easiest for you because you might like be like me and quite happy to do it on the fly or you might want to do a bit of research, get an understanding of it and then just roll with it. Or maybe you need to sit there and script it. The only problem with scripting is you need to become proficient in looking natural, <laughs> which is the hard bit. I mean, with no script, it's quite easy to look natural because there only is natural. There's no way of uh, altering it. Um, so you need to look at that. You need to understand where am I going with this? You know, if I start rattling on, because... You know, if you watch some of my other videos, I do go off on a tangent sometimes because I get interested in other subjects. So I sort of veer off and then try and bring it back to where I was starting, um, started from. So this is one of the reasons scripting could work quite well if you've got a habit of doing that. But also bullet pointing to bring things back on point as such um, to keep things together. The other thing I want to talk about is software because I was been pondering this the last couple of days what's the easiest way of doing it because i don't want to do it in one hit you know like go okay this is movie maker blah 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 and do like a 15 minute video on movie maker it will only get you started um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a look at sony vegas i already use camtasia i'm going to take a um, more in-depth look at movie maker because i i've used movie maker but i want to take it to the next level so I would use some Mac software, but my Mac here is one of those little square ones. Um, it's a bit out of date and a bit sluggish, so I'm not sure it's fast enough to do the video. <laughs> so I may not be able to do the Mac stuff. So I apologize for that. But if you want to send me an Apple Mac to do it on, I'll be more than happy to take it off your hands. <laughs> if you've got other software you would like to use, um, just put it in the comments below and I'll look into it. Because uh, a lot of this stuff, will, like Camtasia, you can get a 30-day trial, see if you like it. I like it because it's fast and it's very, very easy to use. Because a lot of things, that I think, uh, if you go to something like Pinnacle, for example, some of this software is too complicated. You know, if you're starting off, you do not want all these extra bells and whistles. You've got enough to contend with with getting the lighting right, this audio right, without going, 
okay, how do I edit this? <laughs> I'll have to go on a training course. So I will do separate videos and there could be as many as 15 videos per software. And the reason being is I want to go through it step by step. I'll do it as a proper training program. But it will not be on this channel. It will be on this one, uh, which is my how-to channel. And the reason for that being is it's going to take up a lot of stuff. And it, the, this channel it's on at the moment is was only a, like a, a little vlog help type thing. And it's now heading on to 10 videos <laughs> and still going. So the software, I'll move on to my how-to uh, because... It's going to be in depth. I don't want to just go, okay, just click here, do that, do that. I want you to be able to use it properly. And to do that, it's going to take a few a few videos and probably take me a week to do the sets of each one. But at the same time, I know when you come out the other end of it, you will see some of the benefits. One of the things I love about Camtasia, for example, the difference from Movie Maker is the video quality is okay but the file size is often tiny in comparison to Movie Maker because um, I can basically kick this out of Camtasia and it'll be 80 megabyte I kick it out of Movie Maker and it'll be 400 megabyte <laughs> so there's different reasons for different software and we'll go over all this stuff and like I said I'll put that on this channel up here and you just click through, it'll take you to the next channel. Please subscribe because then you'll get the updates as they get added. So the first one I'm going to cover on there is Movie Maker. Then I'll move on to Camtasia, then Sony Vegas. Um, and I might do Pinnacle. I might move on to the bigger stuff later. Um, I'm not sure yet because some of that stuff is so involved. Um, I don't ever want to do it. <laughs> I don't mind doing Movie Maker, Camtasia, etc. Because they're they're pretty straightforward. But not when you just open the box and go, what's all this? Where, where do I start? So I'm quite happy to do that. But when you start getting onto the bigger stuff, you're into intermediate to advanced, which takes us into another ball game. But on the how-to channel, it makes sense. But for vlogging for beginners, it doesn't because you shouldn't need to get that advanced on it in the first place. So anyway, thanks for watching. And please subscribe over here and keep on uh, watching our videos. And if you've got any suggestions or questions, just put them in the comments. Because if you say, Matt, how do I get rid of this issue? You know, I've got a lot of background noise, whatever. Just put it down in the comments and I'll make a video on it because the whole point of this is to help people progress their videos. Um, I know mine aren't 100%, but a lot of mine, I'll be honest with you, is time consumption. It's not ability. I can fix most things. I mean, I've sat here this morning looking at um, some tele telesales stuff here in Spain because I know there's a lot of call centers that don't use uh, predictive dialing and automatic dialing, which is obviously illegal. Um, but I could quite happily build them machines and what they do with it is their business, but I could actually build them a machine to do it. There's an example. I could take a computer and turn it into a telephone dialer. Um, so if there's something you've got problems with the audio or whatever, I'm sure I can sort it out. Thanks for watching. Yeah.